Like, what do you do? A book? Yeah, it's the Jewish proverb says there's three things every man should do. Write a book, plant a tree, have a son. Mm. Why? Because they all outlive you. Mm. We as men want to live thousands of years. The only way you're going to live thousands of years is by the value you bring to the world that's documented, is by giving back to, and, and I know the tree is what they're saying, the tree is not even tree today because the tree Shit. is being cut down and turned into paper. It's a yeah. business model, not right. Yeah. But it's family. It's blood. Damn, you bitch, nigga. When you see your oh, kid, I fucking swear. And you find somebody to build a family with that's a good partner, meshes with you, good personality, you sit there and say, okay, great, this looks good. We can actually pull this off. Then there's value for it. But I'm gonna tell you something to me right now. Basic rules about getting married today. Would we get I would, if I'm a man, I'm not getting married before 30. At all. I would not even think about getting married pre-30. A lot of people argue with it. You don't know what you're talking about. I got married at 22 years old and I'm happily married. I'm 62. 22, 62. That was 40 years ago. That means the 80s. Yeah. You didn't have social media. You didn't have Snapchat. You didn't have Twitter. You don't have accessibility to what's out there today. Accessibility to sex today is so easy. The ability to be tempted today to screw up is so easy. The ability to screw up and make a royally, publicly humiliating mistake today is very high. And ain't no man walk on water. Okay? And no man walks on water. Everybody sees it, oh my gosh, oh, she's beautiful, but I'm very There's nobody that's perfect to say, oh, I don't have to worry about the mistakes I'm gonna make. The risk is high today. The reward is not as high as this. Snipers and ass, come on, baby. You know, back in the days, so you and your wife down through fight 20 years ago. You got a 30 minute drive, okay? And at the office, you talk to her. Why don't I come home and talk to you tonight? You got 30 minutes to calm down by the time you come home. Today, if you get into a fight, that second what you want to say, you say. So you fan, you fan, you fan, you fan, scar, 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 scar. Yeah, so we're done with this marriage. So today we have too much of the opportunity to see. instantly. There's too much instant reaction. What you didn't die? Hey, you don't know what right, man, 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 hold up, man. It's too instant. So those oh. are all scars that you're leaving on each other, right? And eventually Hey, hold on, what the fuck is going on with my fucking snipers now? Hey man, what the fuck? You're facing this way, man. She's facing that way. So it has to be built on the right values and principles. It has to be somebody that you date for some time and you see all the dark side of them and yourself to see if you can do this or not. Her hey man, what the fuck? That's coming through somebody instead of cold. Mm -hmm. I knew my wife five and a half years before we got married. She knew my flaws, I knew her flaws. Oh yeah, she dated other guys, I dated other girls. And eventually we said, let's see what can happen here. And we build a family together. You have to create certain criteria uh, before you get money. Stay get over there, there five deep, deep y'all. Damn, uh, nigga. Huh? My wife. Dating. She. Uh, she's about to Damn, you bitch. Hold up, man. Make your writing clear and concise. No matter where. Hold on, my fucking shit pulled. Uh, financially, she wasn't the best of place at that time. Certain, you know, challenges to play. She was in the mortgage real estate business. And one month, she calls. We've been together for three months. She says, you know, this month, I don't know how to pay my rent. Man, the goddamn ass. Space is goddamn fucking full still. I know I don't want to pay my rent. What the fuck? Hmm. What do you think I'm gonna do? I don't know. What do you think I should do? I said, well, number one, I would go return to the BMW. I say, you don't have $50 on my car. I would go return that and say, can't pay the payment. What else would you do? Dude is on here, though. Still I'd ain't you, bitch. And I would get a Nissan Sentra to $100 a month. That saved you 600 bucks a month. Oh, my goodness, man. What else would you do? I'd go back, and I know you're doing insurance and real estate, right? I'd go back and get your old job where you work to give you a good shit rate and pay you $40,000. That at least covers your, uh, uh, what do you call it, expenses. What else would you do? Boom, boom, boom. I said what I said. Negative. She says, okay. I, Operation complete. I couldn't even call in my fucking sniper's nest. Oh my goodness, man. Whew! Oh, boy, boy.